I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. In a masterpiece of propaganda timing, the Soviet Union announced it had launched Sputnik No. 2, carrying a live dog. Yet behind the scientific success lies a grim military warning. Confirmed now by Anglo-American scientists, the rocket that launched Sputnik No. 2 is capable of carrying a ton and a half hydrogen bomb warhead more than 5,000 miles to a target. The short one is the star of this program. He's a chimpanzee. Clad in his nylon space suit, he was placed on his individually fitted couch shortly after 5 o'clock this morning and readied for a thundering ride high above the earth and far out into the ocean. At that time, he was known as Number 65, a cruelly undistinguished name for so important a figure. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Doorway in the side of the astronaut hangar here at Cape Canaveral, and out through the doorway, Alan Shepard, slated today to be America's first man in space. Cabin pressure is holding at 5.5. 5.5, Cabin, Ocker, you go. All systems are go. Finally, if we are to win the battle that is now going on around the world between freedom and tyranny, the dramatic achievements in space which occurred in recent weeks should have made clear to us all, as did the Sputnik in 1957, the impact of this adventure on the minds of men everywhere who are attempting to make a determination of which road they should take. Soviet claims on the equality of women got their most dramatic exhibit, and the world had a new kind of heroine. She turned out to be far more feminine and charming than anyone had imagined. After two years of training, she was ready to fly in Vostok 6. At the launch pad, cosmonaut Andrian Nikolaev, her future husband, escorted her from the bus. They had met in the cosmonaut detachment before his flight. But the man in her life today was Valery Bukovsky orbiting the Earth in Vostok 5. She came within three miles of him in space. The Americans have no women astronauts and have no plans for any. Valentina Tereshkova says there are more Soviet women cosmonauts ready to follow her into space.
during this flight, among other duties, including this, walking in space is the term we use because there really is, there really is no other term to use. Having had no previous experience here, the man didn't know how to term it, so it was termed to walk in space. He became highly exuberant. If there is something in the way of a diver's fever that is taken when the man dives deep into the waters of an ocean, uh, perhaps there is also some sort of... Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes from the lunar system. Beautiful, just beautiful.